Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel, Master Computer Science Subject. Today in this video, we are just going to discuss uh, in continuation with the previous video, that is three address code, syntax tree and DAG. The question whatever I have given is asked in the December 2019 question. So for this expression, we have to construct the syntax tree DAG as well as we have to find the three address code. In addition to that, I have added one more question here, give different representations of three address code okay for this expression already we have uh, drawn the syntax tree and tag in my previous video so let me not take much time directly i construct the syntax tree once again here b a leaf node is created for c also a leaf node is created then minus again one more time so leaf nodes are created with the operands and the operators become the parent node so two times b minus c is created then after this b minus c is evaluated in the expression this b minus c is multiplied with a then this b minus c is multiplied with d so this is being multiplied with a and this b minus c is multiplied with d after that in the given expression this plus operation is taking place followed by this plus operation so first a plus a into b minus c is taking place followed by this plus operation so this is in fact a into b minus c right so with that a is being added then both the sub expressions are being added now so this is b minus c at this node we can evaluate a into b minus c at this node we can evaluate a plus a into b minus c here again b minus c this is b minus c into d both the sub expressions are added so we have constructed the syntax tree for the same thing how do we draw the dag it is very simple for all the common sub expressions dag has the representation only once so first we are constructing for b minus c as per the expression we should have one more b minus c since already b minus c is there we don't represent one more time in dag then this b minus c is multiplied by a then the same b minus c is multiplied with d right then this a into b minus c is added with a now observe i am not creating one more leaf node if you see the left child of plus is a and the right child of this plus is nothing but a into b minus c then after that both the sub expressions are added which sub expressions are added look the left child of this plus it is nothing but a plus a into b minus c is added with b minus c into d so this is dag now we are going to write the three address code what is three address code three address code is either the linearized representation of syntax tree or the linearized representation of a dag now i'm going to use a dag to generate the three address code so at every interior node i'm going to name by a temporary variable because while generating the intermediate code compiler also generates temporary variable so let me call it as t1 at this node it means what is the operation t1 is equal to b minus c then this b minus c is multiplied by a right so let me call at this node as t2 t2 is equal to a into in fact b minus c but b minus c is already available in the temporary variable t1 then the order of operation is b minus c into d so let us call here the node by the name variable t3 so t3 is equal to b minus c into d b minus c is already available in t1 so t1 into d is a next instruction generator so now after this this is the operation carried out so let me call it as t3 what is this operation a is added with t2 right so t3 is equal to 
a plus t2. What is t2? a into t1. t1 is nothing but b minus c. Alright. Okay. Now, finally, let me call this node as t4. What is t4? t4 is nothing but uh, left child is t3 and the right child is, uh, oh sorry, let me call this as t4. Yeah, here also accordingly I will change. So, this is t5. So, what is t5? t5 is nothing but t3 plus t4. t5 is equal to t4 plus t3 or t3 plus t4. Anything we can write. So, this is the 3 address code. Already I explained what is 3 address code. In the next video, I'll make a detailed introduction about 3 address code. In general, 3 address code contains at the most 3 addresses and 1 operator. At the most 3 addresses means it can have 1 address, 2 address, maximum 3 addresses along with 1 operator. So, for this 3 address code, we are going to see the different representations. So, what are the different representations of 3 address code? There are 3 different representations of 3 address code. Quadruple, triple and indirect triple. Okay, what, what I am talking about or what does it mean, the representations? Representations are nothing but the data structures, the way we store the 3 address code. There are 3 ways of storing the 3 address code. One is quadruple, another one is triple. And the next one is indirect triple. Quadruple means, as the name suggests, there are four information. The first information is operator. The second one is argument one. The third one is argument two. And the fourth one is result. In triple, the result is not there. Operator, argument one and argument two. Only these three information are there. In indirect triple, it is nothing but a list of pointers to triples. Already triples are created. For that, the references are nothing but the indirect triple. Now, I have copied the three address code, whatever we have generated for the given expression. Now, I am going to convert this three address code into the quadruple format first. So, quadruple format, you have to remember, this is the signature of the quadruple. So, first let us consider the instruction one by one. First, let us consider T1 is equal to B minus C. In that, the operator is minus, one of the argument is B, another argument is C, and the result is available in T1, right? Now, let us consider the second instruction. The operator is star operator, one of the argument is A, another argument is uh, T1, and the result is available in T2. This is 1. Okay, let us move on to the third instruction. As per the third instruction, again, operator is star symbol. One of the argument is T1, another one is D, and the result is available in T3. Let's continue writing. Similarly, for the other instructions, for the fourth instruction, operator is plus A, T2, and the result is available in T4. So, for the last instruction... Again, plus is the operator, T4 is one of the arguments, T3 is the another argument and the result is available in T5. So, this is the quadruple format. Now, let us see how to represent the same three address code in triple format. Okay, the first instruction is T1 is equal to B minus C. So, the operator is minus, one of the argument is B. Another argument is C and this instruction is, for example, assume that available at the address 10, right? Remember, we are not storing or containing the information where the result of this expression is assigned to. Now, let us move on to the second instruction. What is the second instruction? T2 is equal to A into T1. So, operator is multiplication operator. One of the argument is A. Another argument is T1, but where the information of T1 is available, in fact, what is T1? T1 is B minus C. The information of B minus C is available at the address 10. So, the another argument is nothing but the reference or the address. So, 10 is entered here. Okay, let us assume that this in, uh, information is available at the address 15. Now, let us move on to the next instruction. 
for this instruction the operator is multiplication operator the information of t1 is nothing but b minus c it is available at the address 10 so 10 is one of the argument and another argument is d so i have entered here let us assume the triplet information is available at the address 20 similarly let me create some 25 30 something like this okay now let us move on to the fourth instruction fourth instruction is t4 is equal to a plus t2 so operator is plus one of the argument is a the other argument is t2 in fact what is t2 t2 is a into t1 second instruction right the second instruction information is available at the address 15 so let me enter the value here as 15 okay now let us move to the last instruction the last instruction operator is plus one of the argument is t4 whose information is available at the address 25 another argument is t3 whose information is available at the address 20. so this is how we have to write the triplet information of the three address code now indirect triples is very easy indirect triple is nothing but the list of references to the triplets for example we uh, uh, for example we consider that there is a list of locations with the addresses 1 2 3 4 5 something like this now 1 in turn contains the address 10 this is containing 15 20 25 30 so what it is this 10 15 20 30 are nothing but the references for the triplet information and these triplet information are available in the corresponding addresses such as 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So I hope you have understood this example. Uh, let, us, um, let me meet you in another video with one more example. Thank you.